I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building, youtube.com forward slash the sneaker addict. I go by the name of DJ Dells. It's the end of the year, and you know what time it is. It's time for my top 25 sneakers of 2012 that I picked up. Not of the whole year that I've released, but what I picked up. Paranormans, I wasn't able to get. They won't make the list. Shoes that I did not pick up will not make the list. It has to do with what I like. I do put into perspective what the public likes, but at the same time, it has to do with what I like. And that's the final word right there. It's all about what I like. So there's going to be picks that you may think is absolutely insane that I'm putting so high or so low on the list. But that's just because that's how I feel and that's what I like. I like certain sneakers more than others. But keep in mind, this is the top 25 of all the sneakers that released in 2012. There's been a lot of sneakers, hundreds of sneakers that have released that have been nothing but heat for your feet. So keep that in mind. So if I show you a sneaker like this one right here, which will be 25, you guys may be like, 25? This should be number um, 18 or whatever, you know what I mean, the case may be. This is what I feel. This sneaker right here, the Nike Speed Turf, and this is not just this colorway, I'm talking about the release in general, all the colorways that release. This is going to be my 25th pick right here because, you know what, they came out with a lot of great colorways. This is a real classic shoe from back in the days when I was a kid and I really was happy that they retroed this shoe right. So this will be my 25th pick of 2012, right? Well, I do not know if these released, but if these released these Jason Kids right here, they would be on the list and they would not be my next pick. They would be somewhere in the middle of the list. But but I only know of one person that was able to buy these at a retail shop and a lot of people keep asking me about these but they would have made the list if I knew they definitely hit all retailers next we got the stealth phone posits yes the stealth phone posits is 24 I know some of you guys are like how can it be 24 because the fact it's just a plain blacked out murdered out shoe man I mean yeah it's a dope sneaker and all that but at the end of the day, me, I'm more of a person that likes some colorful shoes, you know what I mean? I like to just cop maybe like one black shoe a year for my arsenal, you know what I mean? Because I like to wear a lot of colorful sneakers and whatnot. So, you know, this is definitely the black sneaker that I picked up for the year that was tight. And this is going to be number 25 on my list. The Nike Foam Posit Stealth Warns. Whoa, 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 Warns. Next we got the Pippins right here. These were the Supersonic Pippins that released House of Hoops exclusive. This shoe is sick in my opinion, man. I love the colorway and I love the whole concept behind it. I'm a big fan of Michael Jordan. I'm a big fan of Pippin. I'm a big fan of everyone who played on the Bulls, man. You know what I mean? Even Bill Cartwright. You know what I mean? I, I love everyone that was on the Bulls, man. And, um... Man, this was a dope sneaker because of the concept. For those that do not know what I'm talking about, when Pippen was drafted, he was drafted to the Seattle Supersonics and then got traded to the Chicago Bulls. So this concept right here is so sick for someone who's a fan of the actual team that grew up in that era, that actually was a kid, you know what I mean, watching the game, you know, like, like just amazed, you know, at the Chicago Bulls, not just Jordan, but just the whole movement. It was just incredible, man. Someone like me will appreciate this shoe. So here we go with the Pippin Supersonic Lottery Pick sneaker right here. Next we got the Derrick Rose 3 right here. This one is a real great one inspired by the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. His outfit in the beginning of the show. Love this shoe right here. Shout out to Adidas, man. They did their thing. Shout out to Derrick Rose also. A lot of great colorways. You had the Nightmare Before Christmas. You had the Home and the Away colorways. Real nice shoe. I love the look of the shoe. Real fresh. The materials were really nice on this shoe. Definitely, definitely a hot one for 2012. The D-Rose 3 right here. Next, we got the Cutting Jade LeBron 10. Six sneaker, best colorway so far in my opinion. That's my opinion. This definitely looks ill on feet. You want to see a full review of these, I will put a box right there. Bang, all right? The Cutting Jade LeBron 10s. Next, we got these cloaks because this was a ridiculous sneaker. The way it changes colors, I don't know if it'll change on the camera. Let me see if I can get it to change. But basically, every other step you take, it's changing from blue to purple. This one was a sick shoe, so this had to be on the list right here, the Nike Kobe Cloaks. 
Next, we got the Reebok pumps. It was crazy this year how Reebok just came back so heavy. They retroed these a couple of years ago, and there wasn't really a lot of big buzz about it. I picked up a pair, but unfortunately, my friend who picked them up picked up the wrong size, so they ran too big for me, and I ended up getting rid of them. But I finally got them in my size. This was actually the first expensive shoe I ever owned when I was a kid. Shout out to Papa Dells for picking me up these back in the days. You know what I mean? We hit the Models on Central Avenue, and I was mad excited when I got these right here they were like the most expensive shoe at the time they were even more money than Jordans back then like I forgot what year they originally released but this was like the most expensive shoe to release back in the days but they re-released this year I was able to get them and there was a lot of other pumps that came out man different packs and um, people were really excited this year and they were rocking them picky shoes came out with this smartphone pack that was insane like Really, really nice stuff that came out this year. 2012 was a sick year, man. A lot of great shoes. So my number 20 pick will definitely be the Reebok Pump. All the colorways that came out. There were so many sick colorways that came out. So that's my pick right there. Next, we got the Nike Air Force 180 High. Amazing, amazing release this year. A lot of great colorways. Had a glow in the dark colorway. Of course, they had the David Robinson colorway from back in the day. Man, this definitely is on the list for 2012 right here. The Nike 180 High. All right, next we got the Statue of Liberty Hyperposites right here. Six sneaker. Really, really, really sick one right here. The way this one pops with that bright ass mint color and that copper. Definitely one of the hot sneakers of the year. And definitely, definitely a hot sneaker altogether. Next, we got the Kilroy pack. I got to just put them as a pack, man, because, you know what I mean, most of them would have made the list, and then it would, as I said, it would be like your top 50 of the year, and I'm not trying to do that. It's a lot of work as it is, so... Here we got the Kilroy pack was definitely a sick, sick release. A lot of different alter egos that Michael Jordan had during a commercial when he was advertising this shoe right here. You've got the Johnny Kilroys, you got the Motorboat Jones, and then you had a bunch of other colorways with different nicknames. It was a real great release for 2012. Next we got the Cavalier Force, the Cleveland Cavalier Force. This shoe right here was inspired by when Michael Jordan won the game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Little there was barely any time left on the clock he got the pass bong shot it right over Craig Elo won the game classic classic game I watched it I was a kid I was there well, I wasn't there but I was there when that intense game was going down I remember it like yesterday man it was a great game and this is a great shoe right here the Cleveland Cavalier fours next we got the Reebok Allen Iverson answers right here sick sick sneak I've worn these so many times man they still look pretty damn good, though. You know, I take care of my shoes. But, yeah, man, this is definitely one of my favorite releases of 2012. Love this shoe right here. Next, we got the Allen Iverson question. Definitely a classic. And definitely glad that I was able to pick these up. Great quality on this shoe. Real nice, genuine leather. You can smell it, man. You can smell it. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Can you smell it? <laughs> Definitely a great shoe, great quality. Very happy that these re-released this year. Next, we got the pink foam posit ones right here. Sick, sick sneaker. We've all been waiting for this release, and it finally hit us this year in 2012. Major release right here. The pink foam posit ones. Whoa, 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 ones. Next, we got number 13, the Varsity Red Foam Posit Ones. Sick, sick sneaker. You know me, you already know I love a red sneaker. Nothing flyer than a red sneaker in my opinion. The Red Foam Posit Ones, number 13, best of 2012. Next, we got this one right here is going to be a shocker for a lot of you guys, a lot of you girls. And keep in mind, I did say this is the best of my picks for 2012. I've been had this sneaker. I have dead stock pairs of these before this release. So, you know, I wasn't that excited about this release. But at the same time, I was, so I was able to pick up another pair. So I have another pair of dead stock ones to rock later on when the other pairs are looking like they've been worn out. So, yeah, this is my number 12 pick, the Bread 4s. So next we got for number 11... The Bread 11. Yes, the Bread 11. A lot of people's favorite shoe of 2012 is definitely going to be my 11th pick. And it just happens to be my 11th pick. It didn't happen by me choosing it. Let me make this the 11th pick. It just was a coincidence. I've been had this sneaker. 
I was excited for this to re-release. I was kind of disappointed they did not release the Columbias instead. And they just released the shoe like four years ago. You know what I mean? They should have released the Columbias this year, not this shoe. It's definitely one of my favorite Jordans of all times. Probably my third favorite Jordan ever made. But I have many pairs of these already. Yeah, I got another pair and I'm happy I have another pair because I love wearing this shoe and you know what I mean, I like having some pairs on deck for when those pairs need to go, I got some new pairs to wear. Now this shoe, my number 10 pick, I always wanted this sneaker, wasn't able to pick it up when it first came out or when it retroed and now I finally have it, the Charcoal 7s, the Raptor 7s, whatever you like to call it. These are so sick, man. I love this shoe right here. You want to see a full review of these? I'll put a box right there. Bang, right? The Charcoal 7s. Next, we got the Cool Gray 9s. Sick, 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 sick sneaker. Best Air Jordan in a gray colorway, in my opinion. The best Air Jordan in a gray colorway, in my opinion. Yes, I said it. I know some of you guys are like, Cool Gray 11s, Cool Gray 11s. No. In my opinion, this is the best cool gray sneaker in my opinion as far as with Jordans and I love this shoe right here man I had a pair of the older ones and I was very happy when these retro right here so these are definitely on the list right here the cool gray nine next we got the playoff 12s I had the OG pair but I ended up wearing them and I ended up messing them up they ended up getting all dirty this shoe gets really dirty really quickly man because of the white bottom you know, I mean, I've worn this a bunch of times. It's already getting a little dirty, but not that bad. But yeah, man, this is definitely on the list right here, the playoff 12s. Next, we got the Thunder 4s. Thunder 4s. Sick, sick sneaker. What can you say, man? This colorway, you already know your boy DJ Dells loves that black and yellow. I love black and yellow shoes. Definitely some of my favorite sneakers I own are black and yellow right here. So here you go, man on the list for 2012's best with your boy DJ Dells, the Air Jordan Thunder Force. And then next we got the White Cement Force. What a crazy release. I could not believe that they released these. I was really excited for this release, man. When I first found out in 2011 that these were coming out, I was just bugging. I was like, I can't wait for these to come out. I was just counting the days for these to come out. Just like next year, I hear that they're releasing the Maroon 6s. Like, I can't wait till they release those Maroon 6s, man. I'm mad excited about that release. So yeah, yeah, man, here we go with number seven, the white cement force. Number five on the list is the Dornbecker 9. Amazing shoe. The kid who designed this really did his thing, really put together a great shoe. This is a great Air Jordan 9. It was just put together so well. The colorway, the 3M upper, the gold. Like, man, it's just craziness. You want to see a full review of these? I'll put a box right there. Bang, right? Get to that review after you finish watching this video because we almost done right here. We had our top five right here with the Dornbecker 9. And then next we got the Galaxy Pack. Sick, sick, sick release, man. This one was so crazy in my opinion. The Flight 1, amazing. Had the glow in the dark pods, glow in the dark bottom. You had the like badge that rips off. You had the LeBron 9, insane, insane sneaker. The colorway was so crazy, so loud. Just a really hot shoe, glow in the dark bottom. The KD, so sick. The whole strap is 3M. Shit pops like crazy in the sun, man. This is an ill shoe right here. There was other releases too, like the Dunks that was sick. And then there was also the Kobe, which was okay. It was pretty cool. And then, of course, you had the Galaxy 1, which was absolutely ridiculous as far as the hype for this shoe was insane. People were just going nuts for this shoe, camping out for weeks, fights breaking out sure a lot of the like house of hoops that had them didn't even release the sneaker because there was just too much pandemonium going on riots and just insanity over this shoe right here to me this is definitely a hot sneaker um when i got it i was loving it but at the same time i thought that like, this sneaker was just as hot i think this shoe is way hotter than this shoe to be honest with you out of the pack i think this may be my number one pick out of the pack it's either this one or the KD in my opinion as far as which one is the hottest one out of the Galaxy Pack. That's my opinion though. Keep in mind, you know what I mean? If you disagree, that's all good. It's all about what you like at the end of the day, just like it's all about what I like. But um, yeah, to me, this was the hottest Galaxy. But they all were amazing, man. They all were really sick sneakers. You want to see a review on all of my Galaxy Pack, including the shoes I have not shown. I'll put a box right there. Bong, right? And then next, we got the LeBron 9 Miami Vice sneaker right here. The Elite version. 
This shoe is so crazy. Sick shoe, man. This is definitely one of the illest releases of 2012 and gotta be on the list, man. Number four right here, the Miami Vice. Number three, what's it gonna be? The Olympic Pack. Sick, sick release during the Olympics. You had incredible re-releases of these Pippins. <laughs> man, sick sneaker. I, I gotta just say it. Sick sneaker right here. Such a classic. Definitely have sneakers to double up on for this year. You had the Vince Carters. Just legendary, man. Legendary, legendary, man. That moment when he just dunked over that dude in the Olympics was amazing. And these shoes right here, incredible. You had the Barclays. Craziness. Sick sneaker, man. Love these. These 180s are so ill. And last but not least, you got the Olympic Sixes. Ray Allen wore these in 2000. Man, these are so badass right here. We're so happy to pick these up. The Air Jordan Olympic Six right here. Number two, what's it gonna be? Number two, of course, man. Come on, Golden Moments Pack, number two. So sick, so crazy. <laughs> There's nothing else you can say but that. Number two has gotta be the Golden Moments Pack. Great, great release for 2012. Nothing more to say but that. And last but not least, number one, number one has got to be the Yeezy 2. It's got to be the Yeezy 2. This is the hottest release of 2012 that I picked up. I was lucky enough to get both colorways. It's a shame, it's a real shame they did not make more of these shoes. These are incredible sneakers. They were put together really nicely too. Just to get a close-up of the shoe. Great shoe right here. And I'm pretty sure these were actually even more limited than the Yeezy 1. But this was really put together great. I love the back of this right here. It's so futuristic. That leather, the way it's like cut, like scales. It's, it's an amazing sneaker. Definitely has to be number one. There's no question. This has got to be the number one sneaker that I have for 2012. Love this one. I've worn this a ton of times. I'm beginning to yellow a little bit. At the end of the day, these are made to wear. So it is what it is, man. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video right here. You want to see a full review of these sneakers? I'll put a box in the corner, actually. Bong. And with that said... Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, I hope everyone's safe out there. Shout out to all the fans, shout out to all the supporters, shout out to all the shops worldwide that show love to DJ Dells, all the blogs that show love to DJ Dells, everyone that shows love to me and what I do, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do this for you, and you, you, and you. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Make sure to also... Also follow my Instagram, the real DJ Dells. Follow my Twitter, which is DJ Dells. And with that said, I'll be back really, really soon.